In 1947, the lambda particle was discovered. Here we see a V-shape with the creation of a pion and a proton. It was the proton that told us the decaying neutral particle, lambda, must have had three quarks. The particle was expected to live for about 10 to the minus 23 seconds, but actually survived for 10 to the minus 10 seconds. The property that caused it to live so long was dubbed strangeness and led to the discovery of the strange quark. In 1964, the Zybaryon was discovered at the Brookhaven National Laboratory. Antiprotons arrive from the left. One of these antiprotons collides with a hydrogen nucleus, a proton, resulting in mutual annihilation. The mass of the proton and the mass plus kinetic energy of the antiproton give birth to two heavy particles, a negative xi and its antiparticle. Also in 1964, at the Brookhaven National Laboratory, the omega particle was discovered. This is one of the most famous bubble chamber pictures of all. It shows the discovery of this long predicted particle. In this photograph, we have manufactured kaons entering the chamber on the left. To help see the omega particle, I'll remove all but the tracks associated with the omega event and work backwards from the V on the right that creates a pion and a proton. This is the trademark decay signature for the lambda particle. We also see Vs in the upper right and in the lower middle where positron and electron pairs are created. This is the signature for high energy gamma rays. If we draw lines back to where the lambda particle and the two gamma rays cross, we see that a neutral particle decayed into the neutral lambda and the two gamma rays. This is the decay signature for the neutral psi particle. We can now draw the path of the psi particle back to the kink, where another particle was decayed into the neutral psi and a pion. Given all the masses, energies, strangeness, and charges involved, this fit the expected properties of the omega particle that's made up of three strange quarks. Tracing the path of the omega particle back to the kink in the path of the kaon, we can see the decay that created the omega particle and measure the length of time the omega particle existed. It has a very short life of 82 trillionths of a second. The physicist working on analyzing this photograph was so excited about his find that he woke up the director of the Brookhaven Laboratory in the middle of the night to give him the news. As with other predictions of previously unobserved particles, this discovery gave a tremendous boost to quark theory.